and welcome back. This is my journey <laughs> in this technique that I have just tried so many times. Um, you will see what I will be trying to do. I have here the Royal Coaster Mold from Molds and Shapes. I am using Let's Resin one-to-one -one regular the regular one I'm pouring a layer just leaving a little bit in my cup because I am going to be placing <clears throat> these really cute rosebuds in here um, I have tried this technique several times and I am trying to create the ripple effect or crushed velvet effect and I did try it with just regular cellophane I've tried it with um, iridescent cellophane and I, I kind of keep missing what I'm supposed to be doing so I am going to try this again and I, I keep saying it every time I do it. This is the last time. This is the last time. So here I go again. I've got here some um, little rose sort of, I don't know what you call it, flakes. So I'm going to put one at the tip there because I don't think my rosebud's going to fit in there. Then I'm just going to randomly place these rosebuds that I got from Timu, I believe. I should probably turn that one over. I'm gonna run out of these rosebuds soon because I've been trying, trying, trying this technique so many times. So, might have to order some more. So I'm just randomly placing them because I am, they will probably get moved around eventually. And you'll see what I mean. So I'm just putting some around, and then I'm gonna break up these rose petals and put some sort of randomly. Uh, I'll try and get rid of those, these little pieces. <clears throat> I did let my resin sit for a bit to hopefully try to thicken it, thicken this up. And just so you know, the challenge, the challenge I've had is the bubbles. It's very difficult. First of all, I think to just do for me to just do this technique without anything in the resin, let alone putting something in the resin and trying to um, do this effect. So depending on what happens here, I may just have to live with bubbles. So I've only tried this so many times. I'll just do one there. Okay, then I'm going to take the rest of my resin that I have in my cup and just sort of dribble it over the tops so what I'm going to do is um, after this I have some iridescent sort of wrapping paper oops and I will be <clears throat> fussing it over this and so I will p put you on a time lapse while I fuss with that paper. And you can fast forward or hang in there with me or just, you know, go to the end. So I don't want to fill this too much. But I just want to make sure that most of the rosebuds are covered. So I will place you on a time lapse momentarily <clears throat> and you can see as much or as little of this process 
that you might like to see. Okay, see I see these bubbles, but they're just going to get there. So I'll see you shortly. Okay, so I've let that um, resin sit for a while, and I've got my um, iridescent cellophane over. I have mixed up some black pigment paste with the resin, and I'm just using, um, I guess today, this one is just Platinum Super Clear. I had that handy. <clears throat> so I'm going to pour a coat over. And I keep saying this, but um, this is the last time I'm going to try to create this effect. So who knows if this doesn't work out, if I'll try again. I keep threatening that that's my last one. Hmm, got a little bit... Uh, oh, this one I should have cut over, but let me put it... Let me put some in there because I think I see a little um, gap here in between the cellophane and the mold. So I'll just want to cover it. So I will um, pause momentarily as I cover this up and I will see you for the unmolding. Okay, so let's see. I know I have to trim this and clean this back part up a bit. It is still a little soft, but I can't wait any longer because I've only tried this so many times. So, but that's kind of um, pretty on the edge there. If you can, if, um, I can show you that. Okay, so let's see if mine, I've got to come up with the title, Roses in Ripple Cellophane. Oh, finally, finally, I finally did it. Yay! Oh my gosh, it would have been nice if I didn't have to use cellophane, but um, there you go. Oh, I finally did it. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, thank you so much for watching. And, ooh, I got only one bubble that I can, that's visible. So, happy girl. See you soon.